Don't be so fussy. Get yourself some streams in your life. Hi, everybody. This is Vinny. You might know me from that one time I played a video game. Like a clay... There was clay people in it. And uh, I also said the, the funny word and I did the roar. And uh, also, tonight, I have something called Adventure Maker for you. You've seen Adventure Maker on this channel before, but there's an advanced version of it that I'd like to check out for a little bit. And it's very reminiscent of Mario Maker, but with a different type of game series that you may be familiar with. I don't want to say exactly what it is, but maybe you'll see as I play it. So I'm going to um, do some adventure making first for a moment, and then I will play. And after this, as it begins to get late, as if it's not already late, it's fucking... It's, it's midnight. Um, Dead Space 2. So some new um, functionality in in uh, terms of the you know the game maker itself, but also some new UI. It looks better. Everything here is is a lot nicer looking. I don't know if the resolution can be increased a little bit because it's kind of small. Um, did I do the dead space fix? I did, and I did the roar too. Okay. Um, we're gonna check out. So you get to place down some stuff. Oh, I see. See tiles, options. You can do fe pencil. F you can do fencil. You can do fill. So let's do let's do some grass. We'll make grass, right? And then I'm just gonna make a very basic, based on just pure intuition. I don't really know how to do this because I've only done this like. A little bit on stream but it for me it just shows you that this t what the fuck I can put that as a tile what? to me it shows you that this type of thing is possible and if Nintendo is off making dungeon creation tools uh, that's all well and good but you know more stuff can be done so this is the below layer Auto tile. What is nine tiles? I, mean, I don't know what that means. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'd have to read up on and try to figure out. You know, but you want to kind of make your own natural stuff. Default tile set one and two. So you got your dungeon tile set here. You got your default tile set here. Um, objects. You can do some collision. So we're going to do a player spawn right here. And I'm going to um, add some scenery. Of course, there will be lots of grass. Oh, it's automatic grass. That's nice. That looks a lot better than it used to. Who is that? that, that that's Tink. Yeah, that's... that's um, yep. A non-infringement link. What's that? I can link the bushes together. Really? Okay, I don't know what that's going to be. This is a Walmart brand, America's Choice Link. Put a couple rocks down. We can, we can even do... Let's get a little water over here, shall we? Some water. Shallow. Water. Swimmable. Oh, I see. You have to... Okay. Okay. Wow, the, the UI and just the way this thing looks is so much more polished. I, I can't believe that this has been worked on this heavily since I last saw it. Maybe, what, when did I last stream this? Does anyone have that information? Someone might have that information. All these new enemies. Oh my god, look at all these enemies. Look at all these enemies. The fuck are... 
Oh, there's mushies here. It's got a couple of mushies. Um, December of last year. Wow, okay. So almost a year, nine months. We'll add a, a red mushy. There's a squelcher over here as well. Okay, so we got some enemies. We got, um, we got some stuff. Let's add an item. So there's standard sword. For sale. Price. Four, four, five, five. Please, thank you. Is there a way to make the sword better? Character one, one. I kind of. So um, I kind of want to. I don't know if this will work, but I'm gonna try to give this stink character a bow. Uh, I kind of want to make the sword. I, I don't know if there's. It's possible, but get like a better sword. Character change when you change it to two. Really? Oh yeah, character did change. Who's that character? That's a different character. Let's see, for sale, one, two, zero, okay. Um, make the sword the big one. It was like, yeah, it's like a white mage version. Very cool. So there's more playable characters. Um, I'm gonna add some tiles. Let's see if I can get some music. Play on Star. It's, it would be nice to play it in the menu so I can listen to it while I'm doing all this. But anyway, we got some music. Uh, I can add a, a couple flies because this is, you know, nice over here. We can add, even add a butterfly. All right. Um, so let's not beat around the bush. You know what game this is based around. I just liked. I really like that this is um, kind of, this started as a Link's Awakening type thing. As opposed to simply... Is there an undo? Huh? Oh, that looks like poop. No sound effects? Did I do something wrong, maybe? It's very low. If there are sound effects, you hear that? Whoa! Vinny, walk over the music tile. There, there's no sound on this first screen. There's no UI either. Did you set a sound blocker? I, I don't think so. Oh, there's the... There's the menu. Okay, that was a little poop. I am going to place the music on stink. You know what? Let's get rid of the music for now. Mm -hmm. Music? Get rid of that. Let's do Adventure 1. I'm just going to place it on stink over here. Um, for tiles... We'll just do that, and I'm, I'm just going to draw over here. Okay, good. So what I need to do is I need to switch to the middle layer. That's... What the fuck... What the fuck is this? It, this, 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 no, this need bug fix. This need bug... Bug fix. Huh. Yeah, something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Look at that. It's going mental. Let me... We got music. Okay, so... It's cool. 
I'm going to lower the volume a bit. Vinny, pretty sure it's an error. What, the music? Here, let me... Not play. Vinny, you're using auto-tile. That's the issue. What? So if I go like this... Oh! Oh, I see. Maybe auto-tile is, is good. Kind of, kind of good. All right, maybe it's maybe it's not that good. It it could it could be good. I I just don't get it. Nine tiles, auto tile, get in the zone. Okay, yeah, auto tile was the problem here. Whoa, it just copies, like, over itself. Yeah. Very strange. Let's see, I can make a full, like, forest. Let's see, how would that work? So I have to... Get the trees... The bananas, the potatoes, and the trees. Not quite looking all that good. You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of... Kind of do it, but you kind of can't. Also, I don't know what the difference is between these trees. I think I was just placing it in the wrong spot. Yeah. Yeah, no, that looks well. It's, it's kind of clipped off to the side there. It doesn't... Vinny, you need to offset the trees? What, like... On the, the middle? Tile? Maybe? The, the trees have slightly different tops. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I think I know what you mean. Hang on. Above. Let's try this. So offset the trees. I, I gotcha. Yeah, that was... Yeah. Thank you, chat. You are... Why are you so smart? I can place that like that, and that like that, and then that like that. Okay, yeah, it's just a little something I have to get used to. But you can do trees. I guess the auto... I wonder if the auto tree would make this go quicker. You don't want that. Looks okay. Look, that looks a little bit better. We can get that, and we'll put like a series of mushrooms there. That that looks all right. Uh, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I want to try something though. I want to try options, auto tile, nine tiles, and let's see what happens here. That is not exactly. Nope, that's terrible. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's going to be a better way to do this at some point in the future. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But it would be nice if there was just an easy way to make a quick forest. Try doing auto tile on the three by three path on the right of the tile set. You mean this? I can't select three by three. So it it tries. You know, it look at it, it's trying it so hard, that son of a bitch. It doesn't really know what to do, does it? You tried doing auto with only a single tile selected. That's that. Maybe it's... Um, ah. It, well, okay. What? What the fuck? We're going to turn auto tile off. Okay. Let's try... Building a house over here. Put a house 
And I'm, I'm going to try it. It's not, it, this is, again, way better than it was. Small house. And uh, I probably need to learn a little bit more, and the game probably needs to fix itself. It needs to, uh, there needs to be more updates, but it's still pretty damn intuitive compared to some of the stuff. I don't, I don't know how to, <laughs> I don't know how to fence properly, chat. That's not, that doesn't, no. My baby love. My baby love. Nope. Sorry, I watched uh, the video of the fucking Neverhood, which was pretty good. I Really, my commentary for that was so minimal and, and poop. But the game itself did the work. So this is, um, this is fine. I want to remove... Alright, listen, I want to tell you, no more fan mail. Okay, we're gonna put a chest there. Eat. Okay, now we got the chest. What are we gonna put in the chest? I'm gonna put an item. I'm gonna put a one. You're ecstatic. When given the chance, I go for one rupee. Vinny, do you usually watch your YouTube videos? Um, I do for quality control purposes, and then eat. Um... The Void. Uh, not always. There, there are times where I just can't, I just don't want to, like, hear myself speak. So, collision is a bit of a problem. Let's try something. These trees. The hell? Hmm. You put all of that on the above layer. Ah, uh, let me see something here. Let's let's do the middle layer and see if that has auto collision. Nope. Layer is irrelevant. You have to add collision. Okay. So, I guess that, in some ways, also means you can do more interesting things. Maybe an auto-collision option would benefit this game a little bit, that you can turn on or off. That's my, you know, potential idea for, for later. I'm no, I'm no developer, as I say, and I don't want to be... Um, I don't want to be too penis-y. It's not too hard to add collision. In fact, it's it's relatively it's relatively easy. You just gotta do you just gotta do that, <laughs> and now you've got collision. Um, same for fences. Here's some collision. You want some collision? Right there, collision. Now I need to do a thing where I, I need to. Well, RPG Maker has auto collision, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't know. I really don't know what I'm talking about. Don't mo right? I don't. I don't know. So puzzle elements. You have push block, uh, key doors, big key doors, red blocker, yellow blocker, minecart track, torch one, floor switch. You still have to set up the tile collision in RPG Maker tile sets. Oh, I think I forgot about that then. Uh, I would like to... Here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to make this house... Go... I want to make a little house. Chat. So how do I do that? Does anyone have any, any good ideas on how to do that? You have to use a warp? Okay. 
Well, it's a visible warp. I, I might need an invisible warp. It is invisible? Okay. So I guess you'd kind of have to make this... Well, this is like me doing this incorrectly or, or what, but... Right? I can't do this. You don't warp to another warp? Vinny, you don't warp to another warp. Okay. I also can't drag the screen. You warp to a coordinate. Click the warp and input the specific coordinate. Okay, I have to find the coordinate. Which is a little weird. There might be a better way to do that, but then again, like I said, I don't really know how to make games, so... Um... It's still a lot easier than no, God damn it. <laughs> I, this is why Nintendo fears making a Legend of Zelda maker, I think. Because of idiots like me. Why do I keep pressing the play button? There's gotta be a here we go. Um, indoor. I need, like, indoor wood. <laughs> I want to make an interior. I want to make a house interior. Oh, there's a whole lot of other shit down here. Do you see this? There's, like, a mental amount of stuff. That's not communicated very well. Uh, maybe a scroll bar would help? I don't know. But... Animated tiles can be found at the bottom. Why is, why is it? it? Takes like forever to get down here, though. Let's see. Vinny, do you plan to play the new ukulele game? I did. I will probably play it again uh, at some point. Yeah, this this system. Maybe I'm missing something here, but that's a. Uh... Got some music at least. Uh, building interiors in RPG Maker on separate maps. That I remember. Vinny, do you plan to play the new Cuphead game? I, I see what you're doing there. You mean the the ripoff? This will be my creation. Awful. Okay. I've decided I'm going to play the example maps now because I've... I need inspiration and I also need to... actually get a feel for what the game is. So let's do that. Play. Awful December example world Temple of Snow. Vinny, calling it a ripoff kind of undersells the amount of effort that actually went into the game. I mean, I'm not the one that you should complain to. I'm probably the least important person on that totem pole when it comes to uh, that whole thing. But sure, um, yeah, there's a lot of work put into it, but it looks very, very similar to Cuphead.
Also, game crashed. It'd be more fair to call it a clone. Well, I mean, Doom clones definitely... They had their thing. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? New build for you, couple of adventures to play from the dungeon contest. Here is the game. Um, SP enemy octopi blue not set before reading it. Right? Vinny, that was the demo you played last time you streamed it. Maybe you need to download the map first. Um, maybe. Us. This doesn't look right. Maybe I wasn't given full instructions. It says I'll send you the other levels and show you how to put them in the game when you go on next. I'm going to be making that a lot easier soon, but for now I figure you might have forgotten how to do that. Well, I didn't get the other maps. So... Yeah, I didn't get the maps. Maybe they're old maps? Oh, maybe. Apparently I did Temple of Snow already. Old maps incompatible with new versions. So yeah, I don't think I got example maps. That is a shame. Yeah, this just crashes the game. <laughs> so yeah, this seems to be... Incomplete. Yeah, I thought, um, the I read the message as there will be maps in this game here for you, but I guess I was mistaken. I'm gonna message him right now real quick. I'm, I'm live. Do you have the maps? Someone said, maybe postpone this for another day. I mean, maybe. Well, I'm gonna fuck around with this for a couple more minutes, and if I don't get the maps, then I'm probably going to stop. But... Yeah, let me try to at least make a couple more things. I just, um, the problem I have is making the inside of a house. Seems like a chore. This is, this is a massive chore. Like scrolling. Um, also maybe a button to, like, clone something would be nice. Welcome to game development. Well, it's still in a better state than it ever was, and I'm, I know it's a work in progress, so I'm not, like, here to necessarily shit on it. Because it's something that... has already come a long way. But, and there's probably stuff I just don't know and don't understand. But also, it's kind of hard to... rank... a maker. I made that. I made this. Chat, does any of this look like a floor tile to you? For the inside of a house? No, right? Any of this shit? Floor tiles were in the other set. You passed over them. What, this one? This appears to be... Dungeon. This is a house tile set right here, okay. I 
like a small house. I think I'm learning that I don't have the patience to be any kind of creator. Especially not content. And then you think about, like, people making the entirety of Zelda. And it's like, oh, that seems a lot more impressive now. Like, I need a doorway. They get paid to do that? Yeah, that's true. This is all in the middle. Oh, god damn it. It's fine. We'll make it work, chat. We'll make it work. What's this thing? I don't know what that thing is. Uh, here's a table. What's this thing? I don't know what that thing is either. Vinny, patience is pretty much the key to sure like this, I know. But I'm also trying to entertain an audience of a lot of people all at the same time. I say entertain loosely because I know damn well what kind of content I make, but... You know, at the same time... It would be nice to, uh... Get all this figured out. It's just a very difficult thing. Oh, this is, this is probably... Yeah, that, that seems like a much better option. Also, a, a shortcut. There's probably shortcuts, right? There's gotta be. Right? Which one is it? Is it this one? I, I don't remember which one it would be. We'll just use that. We'll call it We'll call it a, a day. We'll use that. Um, I'm gonna try an object here. I'm gonna do an item. It's gonna put a heart piece. Yeah. Heart piece is good. Goodbye, heart piece. Never mind. We don't need you. We will live without you, clearly. Yeah, the problem is the warp point. Like, how do you extend it further? You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to extend it. It doesn't go beyond one screen. It's the coordinates. Okay, so let's find the coordinates. How do I find these coordinates? I guess I gotta put a warp point down to find the coordinates? Uh, 848-224. It's a little counterintuitive, but that that's fine. Again. 848-224. Eight forty eight eight forty eight two two four. Okay, so we'll try that again now. Eight eight get it eight four eight. What are you doing? I'm using- I'm pressing the buttons at the top and the numlock buttons, but nothing's happening. And whenever I type 8, it just goes back into the thing. It just goes back to 720. It's limited to the same limit as dragging it. Holy shit. Private pile! Vinny, it's not limited. I can't do anything. I can't. I won't. 
Don't drag it, just click. Okay. Nope. Eight, four, eight, four, eight. What was the other one, chat? Eight, four, eight. And what was it? It was 240? It has to be blank. You can't actually drag it before you make coordinates, I don't think. 224? Well, oh gosh. <laughs> oh boy. My adventure making is going like horseshit right now. Well, I'm in. Oh god. Oh man, I'm on the border. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this, Carl. Play a fucking record. Okay. Alright. If... Hmm. Chat, I feel like I'm getting closer to the- to the answer, the solution. I'm just gonna build another house. We don't let the game defeat us, we, we build another house, that's the solution. Can you move tiles? I have no idea. I don't know. Check in tools. There is no tools. Not yet. Chat, when I check in on this game next year, it's gonna be amazing. Just remember, it'll be amazing. It's still pretty damn good. Oh, Adventure Maker... F the funny Adventure Maker man has decided, um, he's available now. He's gonna send me... He's gonna send me a map or two, I think. So... We can check out the maps now. Which is good. But I'm- I'm now determined. I'm peewee determined to Sorry, that was terrible. Pee we determined. Who the fuck says that? I got uh, uh almost a house here. And the process of creation, I've got a bug, you know, like Malroth and Brittany, fam. Got the creation bug. I want to be a builder. I want to be a Dragon Quest builder. Okay, I got some... I got some maps I'm gonna check out in a minute. You know what would be cool though? Some wall decorations. Chat, you wouldn't have happened to have seen any wall decorations anywhere, right? Put some flowers? Like, growing on the inside of a house? That's against the rules. I'll tell you what I can do. I can add an NPC. Music is so fucking is so like swelling and ambient. Like I feel like I'm gonna like slide away into some kind of dimension. I got a 
a second. Okay, yeah, the maps are... I'll get those in a minute. It is a very soothing... It's a very soothing thing. Um... I don't know if I can just pick that up. I think I have to destroy it, put it someplace else. So we'll just put a heart container in here instead. Puzzle. Maybe we could do a puzzle in in the house chat. Maybe you want to do a puzzle? Right. Put that there. And I'm going to put a heavy floor switch. You need I guess like big boot. I don't know. Or, instead of that, maybe we'll do a pushable block. Or, our pushable statue would be even better, I think. No, we need something. Something not very obvious that the player can do, that can solve the puzzle and open the door. Chunky asses? Can move up one, can move down zero, 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 push times one. Okay, so we'll, we'll connect that to the door. All right. And then I'm going to do some collision over here. Let's see. I'm wondering if I can do bed collision. Like, you know, like a semi-solid, semi-solid platform. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but we'll find out. And I'm also going to make this non-movable. Okay. We'll go back down to tiles. And... Again, having to scroll all the way down to get to your thing is not good. Now that's... maybe that'll lead to... an upstairs or a warp? I don't know if I can stack warps. Like, if I could put a warp there behind that item, that would mean that then you can just go in there. Vinny, maybe the heart container? That's a good idea. <clears throat> Put it below, like a layer down. I don't think you can layer this stuff. Trigger on top. Move object up. Move object right. Ledge facing downward warp. No, I don't think you can layer it. Use page up and page down to scroll. Fasto. Did you? Yeah. Page up, page down works. Okay. Make a closet with a warp. Okay, I've- I'm not really sure what to do, so instead I will do nothing. What was supposed to be just like a neat little house has turned into a puzzle of sorts. But we can still... I think I can keep it relatively chill and not do too much. Like, just something like that, maybe. 
problem is this room is going to be surrounded by this gray stuff. But that's okay. I think we're good now for the most part. Let me let me get the um, object collision stuff going. And I'm going to You want to set a warp spawn in front of the door so you can place a warp. Oh, the warp spawn in front of the door so you can place a warp. I don't need a warp now, but... Oh, I... Uh, 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 not quite. Someone said it's so hard to talk to him on Twitch chat. Oh, that's the developer. Oh, Alright, I'll open up your uh, chat specifically. <laughs> Someone in chat has made this game. Um, also, they're making tutorials. Control plus mouse middle to zoom in and out. Awesome. Is there a way to... Oh, thank you, dude. You just saved... You just saved this... This game. It's wonderful, Devin Chat. Thank you. Question. Um, are you, is there a way to increase the resolution? So that it can be bigger in a window. Dev. Dev in chat. I got all your messages now, so you can... ...do whatever pleases you. Alt-Enter, you mean? No, I mean like, the window size. Cause I could do Alt-Enter, yeah. That's full screen, but like, um... In increase the amount of screen real estate. What am I doing? Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we got... Now we got a warp. That's good stuff. Alright. Well, that makes warping easier, at least. Except I can no... Now I can no longer... Oh. Wait, this- we don't want to go this way. This- this is where the sausage is made. Why you not open? Fuck! Okay, I did a couple things very dumb. Very stupid. So we need that, and I need a warp to get us back. So now it's good, but I just have to figure out... Vinny, you need to place a heavy switch. Oh, it, so the- wait, 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 is there- How do I tie this to a door that will open here? And push the heavy switch with the statue? Oh, it- well, is there- hmm. Is there a different way to do this, Mr. Developer? Like, so that I can just push the thing and the door opens? The rope? Let's see. Move object up trigger. Not yet. I didn't think about that, to be honest. I just put heavy switch there and tie it to the door. Oh, well, I, I thought, like, this would be cool for a secret. Like, a, like you wouldn't even know that you had to do this. You, you could just do it by, you know, wanting to push everything. Being like, oh, there's a door there. How do I open that door? 
I'll try a number of things. I'm going to put um, our hero over here. Uh, thank you for answering my questions, developer. God damn it. You have no sword. You have no friends. You can call me Justin if you want, my dude. Nah, Mr. Developer's cool. Oh god. Oh no 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 Mr. Justin. I don't think this- I don't think this is working. I don't feel so good, Mr. Justin. I did get the levels, I'll check those out in a bit. Uh, in fact, I'll just check them out now. No, don't play. We save. We don't want to play. Well, I've given you some things to bug fix, at least. Now you know what you need to fix. Uh, if there's anything that needs to be fixed, it, m most of this is just me not knowing how to do this, but... Again, the tool is very cool. I like- I was saying earlier, the- the UI... ...and all the... ...um... ...visual stuff looks nice now. Let's see if these levels work. So I just have to figure out where to put the levels. Taj! Vinny, that's really nice of you to help him playtest his game. I figured I've playtested a lot of games just accidentally over the years, so I'm fine with this. And, he, and he's the only De Devin in this uh, game. Alright, so now I need to figure out where to put these game... Alright. Okay, uh, unzip them? Sometimes you don't need to unzip. Okay, no, I think I do. Extract to here. Where do I extract them to? Oh, man. This was a very low preparation stream. Put them in your adventures. It's local app. To oh, right, okay. Alright, chat, I'll be with you in a moment. We'll get to play some adventures and then Dead Space 2 in like a half hour, so don't worry about that. Not that you're worried. This is the stream where worries melt away. Just totally gone. All right. And now, we count backwards from five. Five. Take a deep breath. Four. Oh, we're done. And the meditation session has now come to an end. Uh-oh.
so the <laughs> the anxiety zone I told you this is a stress free worry free zone there may be one person right now in the anxiety zone I have to go to the maker and load it okay Oh, it's no, it wasn't me. I thought it was Devin. Let's go to October submission. What? There's no level here. What? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. There's no level. The level was the friends we made along the way. All right, Malroth. You put the folder in Adventures, yes? Yep, I did. It is in, yeah, local roaming, not roaming, app data, Adventures, you know what I mean. I no longer have any idea. So it's, yeah, it's local, Adventure Maker. And in the adventures folder. Oh, I know what's happening. I know what's happening. I have to move the folders up one. They were in double folders. When you unzip, you get like another folder. So I had, it was like two layers deep, if that makes any sense. Well, thank you, everybody, for your patience. I think we got this now. That is problem solving. Uh, I don't want to do this one right now. Yo, what is this border? That's so fucking cool. Hang on a minute. I think these are all dungeons. This one looks like a nice, simple one. The small sword of calculus. Uh, hey, Devin Chat, did you implement any, um... Any sword levels, like a level 2 or 3 sword yet? You have not, but that will be a thing. Okay. <laughs> nice brand. Puzzle solve theme. You found what? One rupee. Okay. What's the Walmart brand again? Also, this game has a really neat feature where you can, like, move while you're... ...spin. It's got, like, a spin feature. Great value, thank you. It's great value. I don't do Walmart. I've only been to a Walmart, like, four times in my entire life. They're not nearby. I have no desire, no need. Target! Those are nearby. So I've been to... What's Target's? Someone said, wow, how pretentious. What's Target's brand? What's Target's brand? 
up and up. Yeah, I've, I've never, I've, I thought, nope. Okay, uh, I believe Mr. Developer, Justin in chat, is no longer in the anxiety zone. Vinny, where do you shop? I kind of just shop, um... Like, fucking, like, just delis. <laughs> For the most part, just whatever, like, convenience stores nearby. Um, if I have to do big food shopping, stop and shop. Or, like, uh... Sometimes just Walgreens. Or, uh, what's the other one? ShopRite? Just whatever. Trader Joe's I do sometimes. But Trader Joe's I can't get a lot of stuff. Unless I want fucking toilet paper made of wheat. You know, or some coconut aloe for my schwenkter. I'm gonna have a hard time finding all the stuff I need at Trader Joe's, despite the food being very good. Yeah, I like that you can combo the sword. You can, uh... Loser, you found one rupee. What is that? What was the other? You are what? You are not very lucky. Uh. Vinny, many people here don't understand how many places there are to shop in New York City. We have a lot of different stores, but yet no Walmart. You caught the flu. Now you can use the jump ability. <laughs> Oh, instead of Rock's cape? Or Rock's feather, it's not- it's a frog leg. It leg of bungee. Yeah, literally just fucking delis, pretty much. I mean, the delis are the best part. Okay, this is- this is maybe something that might need some looking at, Devin Chat. I'm soft-locked. Welcome back to the panic zone. Vinny, why do you buy your clothes from delis? I have a collection of thousands of I Love New York shirts. Because delis are the best places to shop. I'm trying to do a slice, oh I got it, got it. Someone just said, I love New York shirt is synonymous with please rob me. <laughs> also, I, I was thinking these might be jumps where you can jump off of them. Guess not. Oh well. That was some... That was some stuff. Good thing the checkpoint was right in front of the boss. Or maybe this is a boss, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's the boss. It's a giant... demon frog. Really nice pixel work, by the way. Nice sprite work. You got that... You know... There's a... You captured an essence of, of a... of a certain video game. But still managed to do something a little different. Oh, the checkpoint is you just load from where you died. Also, the dev in chat that made this level did not put boss music here. Wait, maybe this isn't the boss. Maybe this is a mid-boss. Oh my 
god. Frog tongue? What did I get? Uh, I pressed select by accident, but I think I just completed this. Um, looks like I completed it. That seemed to be the win condition right there. That was cool. It's a pretty decent dungeon. Let's try... October submission. I think that was a dungeon too. They're all dungeons, I think. Someone said adding an option to lessen the flashing would be nice. Uh, yes, Devin chat. Be I, I think that would be kind of cool, too. Okay, I'm probably not gonna do all of this. Yeah, some people... ...don't like flashing, and some people, uh... <laughs> ...can't look at flashing. So there's that. Vinny, I sent you a bit of a newer version that is drastically different and more designed for easy use on Twitter. Can I show that on stream? Okay, I will. Just gonna play through a little bit of this stuff first, and then I'll show it. Vinny, I sent you a video of the newest version of Adventure Maker. Can I show it on stream? No. Can I see it? No. Was that what that wacky thing is? Huh. Fire turrets are pretty cool. Oh, oh, this you can resume the progress of. Like, you can pull it out a little bit and then... Wow. Did you see how mental I just went with that spin? Oh, it's because of the fans. Ah! Fifty smackaroos. What kind of crust satisfies you the most on pizza? That's a... Why'd you have to word it like that? Um... Like... Medium crust. Maybe like breadcrumbs cooked into... On the underneath of the crust? Some people do that. I, I'm not into stuffed crust. That's- that's very gimmicky, and I- I think it can be good. I've had it. But that's not... the type of crust that satisfies me the most. M my... maximum satisfaction comes from, like, a really good... ...yeasty... That's a really weird way to put that. Um, just, just a good, like, you don't need any gimmicks if you have a good crust. Just go to John's Pizzeria on Bleecker Street in the city. In Manhattan. And you will... Oh, fuck. Select is not the map button.
It does show you the dungeon. That cannot be denied. Uh, okay, well, we'll move on to the next dungeon. Just start where you left off. No, it's okay. It, it was cool. Uh, I'll, I'll just do... I'll just do the other one in full. Sorry about that. <laughs> I gotta really, really make a conscious effort not to press that button. What the hell is this music? I, I like it! <laughs> oh, this is custom music. Oh, this is very silly. is really good! I can see Miku waving a leak around. Miku Hatsune. I like the theme of this dungeon. Always a big fan of dungeons in Zelda that have forest inside the dungeon. Battle toads. Oh, that is the battle toad. I I just see James's face. AVGN's face doing the fucking stupid thing. Every time I hear the Battletoads pause theme. Yes! The song is very loud. It is totally overwriting the sound effects. Yeah, the song, there's just a lot happening. Oh. Whoa. Use it to burn shrubs. You're not done with this dungeon yet. It's... you got nothing. It... it's nothing. Epic. Oh, man. Brittany lives, yeah. I was just thinking. There's a game I played on Sunday that said Epic Fail. And then yesterday, Brittany was like, What up, fam? Oh, it was ukulele. That's what it was. That was, that was Monday. That wasn't Sunday. Oh, wow. Nice burning physics.
Brittany has ascended to a higher plane and now exists in all games. She can walk, she can talk, she can listen and learn. complete this dungeon. This is a good one. I, I like the variety. Like, you know exactly where you are. It's not just monotone. No offense to the first dungeon, but that dungeon was very... It was hard to navigate because everything looked very similar. This one... Everything's kind of distinct. This is, this is great. This is like Zelda... Actual Zelda caliber. This would make, like, a good first dungeon in a Zelda game. He's, I think he won, said the developer, I'm giving a small amount of money for the contestants. He did a good job. You did a good job. Needs work, but I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a penis about it. It's good. It's good work so far, though. frog fight is now very different without the feather or the frog leg. Oof. I don't know what that is. It looks like a tongue. Um, the dev says, I take criticism. I will definitely, uh, need- it'll need work until it's done. You won't offend me, my dude. Alright, well, you smell of elderberries. Pretty good. Um, before I move on to something else, I'd like to... So we, we know that doesn't quite work. Uh, that's fine. I, I really just want to check out some more assets that are in the game. And see... So we have all these. That's a lot of different things. Puzzle elements all include... The usual stuff, plus fans, trampoline, minecart, and I will show, I will show the video in a bit. Um, there's the minecart stuff. Torch can be lit. They have to all be lit. Bam. Uh, switch that can be pulled, okay. Uh, items, sword, heart piece. You need four of those, obviously. Big key, heart. The bow, arrows, bombs. Boomerang. Fire wand, switch wand. It allows the player to switch places with an enemy. Charge ability. It allows the player to charge. Uh, okay. That's the, um, Pegasus Boots. Bubbles. This is, uh, you can blow deadly bubbles with this chat. Deadly bubbles. Uh, I probably said this last time, but consider... ...a mode where you always have your sword and shield available, kind of like the way, uh, the Link's Awakening remake ended up going down, which I thought was the best part of it, of course. But that's just me. Just some ability to always have those available, and then you can use your items. That's how it is in the newest version. Oh, cool.
deadly bubbles. You gotta hit diagonal switches with this. The bubbles stay up for a bit too, so you can probably solve puzzles like that too. Is that your rapper name? Yes, Deadly Bubbles is my hip-hop name. Then he plays the other character. Alright. Okay, I'll do that. Um, so we got that other character. I'm gonna place... Let's take a look at some more enemies. I boss. This is the boss. Reaper boss. Let's just set a Reaper boss over here, shall we? And we'll just... We'll set a ball gun. And I'm gonna give the Reaper boss heart container, and a heart container, and a heart container. Spooky beach. Eh. Probably gonna need a sword. Uh, uh-oh. The other character is definitely broken, says the dev. I forgot I even left that in the game. I'm making character customization a thing, so that will no longer be there. <laughs> well, the, the character's almost not broken. You combine that with that ball blaster, and you really got yourself a boss fight. Should have set some music up over here. Oh well. <laughs> oh, oh, that was the continue. It glitched. Oh shit. God damn it. Oh boy. Oh, this is a long pattern. Got it. <laughs> Glitched it. I am doing some good bug testing for this developer. Take that. Okay. Cool, though. Also, I placed that off-screen. That was... very dumb. Yeah, so far, so good. There's just like a million different things you can do with this. And I can imagine a year from now, it's only gonna be better. So, let's take a look at that 
updated version. And then um, we're going to take a quick break. Hang on a minute. Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to get this for you. I have to. Video download helper. Be with you in a second, chat. Come on, come on, don't do loot. Do 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 loot. Please. Do record. Do loot. Okay. Thank you, Frog. So you got tutorial stuff. Rick roll. And then up there. Oh, that's much more Mario Maker S esque. Oh, that's pretty cool. What really happened here? Who is the What really happened here? Who is the cowboy who confronted Johnny and Larry that night? Was the old woman in on it too? Maybe. All right. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, I think Adventure Maker could be really good. So I look forward to... Um, stop yelling! I look I look forward to seeing more from it. Uh, thank you for the newest build. That was pretty all right. And we're going to take a quick break. Thank you, Dev. Quick break. And then I'll be back with Dead Space 2. So, stick around. Spoop up next. <laughs> 